Here is Fred. Notice this thing spun up a lot since yesterday. That's looking pretty impressive there, sitting basically south of um, the Panama City area, heading up towards the north, basically due north. So this is well east of us, but a few of these showers are flinging off here, and we'll see some of those through today. So we've got three areas we're watching. This is Tropical Depression 8. That's Grace, and there's Fred. Notice we're kind of all in between. Uh, with Gray staying to our south, Fred staying to our east. So things are looking okay right now, but let's talk about Fred. Fred is heading to the uh, Florida Panhandle later on today, moving north, not very fast at nine miles per hour, and it's going to continue to likely organize as it makes its way towards the coast. So this will continue to get stronger. This will be a decent tropical storm and probably going to be it's a pretty strong wind gust here uh, near uh, where it makes landfall and into the Big Bend part of uh, Florida. So, you know, this will continue to move to the north, well east of us. Notice nothing going on on the west side of this, so there's still some shear, but overall, this will continue to organize and strengthen as it makes landfall. Landfall will be this evening closer to sunset, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, as a pretty decent tropical storm. Uh, remember, a hurricane 75 miles an hour, so it'll make a run at uh, at least getting close to that. They don't have it forecast to become a hurricane, but regardless, uh, it'll be a pretty strong tropical storm with wind and some rain and a little bit of surge rise on the east side. Here's Grace. Of course, everyone's keeping an eye on Grace. It's further down to the south and west, uh, south and east, sitting just south of the Dominican Republic. There's Haiti, and it's heading west. Notice there's no north northerly component to this really a big envelope of showers and storms looks like for the most part it's going to miss the islands here, which means it's not going to get disrupted like Fred. So that's been the change with this forecast through today uh, since yesterday is that it probably is going to stay further to the south here and continue on a westerly track. There's a big ridge of high pressure kind of pushing down on it. So there it is remaining a depression. It will likely start to organize once again as we go into tomorrow near Jamaica near Cuba, near the Cayman Islands, and then it will continue to intensify as long as it misses all these land masses here. Notice westerly track. So if you got plans in Cancun, Cozumel towards Thursday, Friday, need to be keeping a close eye on this forecast. This could certainly have impacts on cruises, flights down here, things like that, and that will continue uh, to head to the west. So notice <laughs> there's really no change, no northerly movement to this as it continues on its track towards Mexico. It will get there later on through a Friday and going into the weekend. So of course with this track well south of the northern Gulf Coast, we would feel no impacts from from this reason for that track and why we just don't see it getting to us all has to do with high pressure. This high pressure right now we will call it a blocking high because it's blocking it from coming to the north and watch what happens. The high actually gets a little bit stronger as we go into the middle and end of the work week. That means it will push down on this thing and it's going to ride on the edge of that. So that's the official forecast and I've thrown on all the tropical models here all showing some something similar with it just riding on the edge of that high. Now, if that high ends up being a little bit weaker at some point, it could try to curve back to the north, but uh, we're not quite sure that's actually going to happen just yet. So that's why it's just really doesn't look very likely that like it's going to be able to get to Louisiana or Mississippi, Alabama, Florida. If it did get to anyone, it could get to southern, southern Texas. So Texas still needs to keep a close eye on it. But right now, my concern level with this one, it's very low, all thanks to that high pressure.